everyone this is the last video for 2017 and it's going to be a different video than the regular DSLR and mirrorless professional camera review mm -hmm. we are going to be using the iPhone 10 and we're gonna use it to take professional portraits modeling portraits and the model to help us today is Alyssa French hi and you've been modeling for five years yes wow that's a that's a long time on and off <laughs> on and off okay. yeah and I've noticed that people take their cell phones everywhere, especially now, even when they go on vacation, mm -hmm. we don't see anyone with point and shoots. It's usually their cell phone. And I know you went on vacation to, to Europe. Europe. Yes, I just got back. Um, I took all of my pictures on my cell phone and they're pretty good pictures. Oh, nice. uh, actually, my sister Katrina brought her camera mm -hmm. along with her, but it was kind of a little bit of a hassle to carry it around with us everywhere um, this is pretty light right right yeah. right it's very you can slip it in your pocket or yeah. in your purse um everybody took their that i noticed everyone was taking their pictures on their cell phones mm -hmm. uh, a select few of people have a camera you know a professional camera but yeah i think that that's why they're enhancing the cameras on the phones now because it's more convenient to bring along kind of like an all-in-one mm -hmm. so yeah. we'll see how today goes so this episode is different godfrey i'm gonna start filming him he is actually filming on the iphone 10 and i'll be shooting on the iphone 10 so this is like we're not sponsored by apple but this is like an iphone 10 um review, review in a way okay we'll keep on shooting Okay, let's like this will be three fourth body shot. Can you play with your jacket a little bit? One, two, and three. Very nice. Tilt your head a little bit more to your. Very good. One, two, and three. Let me get a closer shot. One, two, and three. Nice. As you can see, it takes some time to process. Can you look behind you like, like someone's calling you? Why did my phone gets so dim. One, two, and three. Okay, good. Look a little bit to your right. One, two, and three. Okay, I'm gonna wait for a better angle. One, two, and three. Okay, smile just a little bit. I know it's hot, sorry. One, two, and three. And three. Very nice. Move your shoulders a little bit towards here. Good, lean forward just a little bit. One, two, and three. I'm currently using natural light with Alyssa. If I change to studio light, it becomes very vivid and bright. I kind of like studio light. One, two, and three. Let me change the angle. Let me get lower here. Very nice. One, two, and three. After studio light is, you can see the processing here, is contour light. I guess contour light, natural, studio, contour gives a little bit more contrast. Let's try that. One, two, and three. And studio light we're not really going to use today, or sorry, stage light. Stage light basically just makes the background totally black, like she's standing in front of a black curtain as shown here. And the black and white just makes everything black and white. So we're going to go back, whoops, portrait mode. And we're going to go back to studio light. Very nice. One, two, and three. And if you notice when I go photo, you can see Alyssa's whole body one two and three but then when you go to portrait it resumes in and makes the black one blurry one two and three very nice One thing that I always do is I always wipe the lens in the front with like my t-shirt. If you don't, then something's to get like a hazy effect on the uh, pictures. So if you want really clear pictures, that's a tip that I always do. 
and the phone is really light. I believe it's 174 grams and it's very easy to hold in your hand. Like what Alyssa is saying, everyone took it with them on vacation on, in Europe. So these are the first impressions uh, so far. How, how are you liking the photos? I think they're very clear and precise. Uh, they, the portrait mode makes it look really crisp, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah. Everything in the, in the photo, even with the blurred background. Yeah. The subject of the photo is very crisp and it's like, it's almost like kind of Yeah, it kind of makes you believe because as it's like our human, um, the way we the like way to we see. compare yeah. and see. Yeah, yeah. So the subject, which is you, you're very crisp and clear mm -hmm. and the background's blurry. Mm -hmm. So which is, I'm looking at you right now. Yeah. And your whole black, your yeah. whole background is So it's blurry. actually what we see with the right, human right. eye. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty cool. And uh, Alyssa was surprised with the stage light. I was surprised too. It just confuses my mind that it could just black out everything and have the stage light. Yeah. yeah just right on you. Yeah. Okay. We'll keep on shooting. So portrait mode, which says move farther away. It really depends. Okay, so maybe about a foot and a half is the closest, but look at that. One, two, and three. You can see the blur around Alyssa's right eye. That's very nice. And go a little closer. One, two, and three. I can still take the shot. Okay, a little closer. Uh, not that sharp. It's having a hard time. One, two, and three. Face detection is pretty good. One, two, and three. wondering we actually just hooked the mic straight in using a 3.5 millimeter jack uh, to lining uh, cable that comes with the iPhone 10 uh, screen features I'm just going to read uh, some of the specs off they're calling this a super retina HD 5.8 inch screen technically it's a little bit bigger than the iPhone 8 plus which uh, Godfrey has it is an HDR display 24 36 by 1125 pixels it is true tone and it's using the p3 wide color display and I did I have, I have, I've had every iPhone starting from iPhone 4 out until to right now the iPhone 10 and just looking at the um, the colors and the OLED is the black is black there's colors on the screen from the shots we did right now of Alyssa against the wall pretty accurate okay we're gonna head down to the Christmas lights and we're gonna see if we can uh, blur the uh, background a bit and get those uh, bouquet balls This iPhone 10 has two camera lenses. The regular wide angle is 1.8, okay, 1, 2, and 3. And the telephoto is aperture 2.4. So I want to do a comparison test. Let me get as close as I can. 1, 2, and 3 against the Sigma 51.4. 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so I'm gonna position, okay, same pose. I'm gonna take out my camera. 1, 2, and 3. Okay, let's hold that pose. Get out the Sony here. Let's see if I can match it. One, two, and three. Oh, one more shot. One, two, and three. Yeah, no comparison. The book can, this is very nice. So natural light compared to studio light. Uh, this is low light. As you can see, it's already dark and we're just lit up by Christmas lights around us. Studio light is kind of vivid, so I'm gonna go to natural light. One, two, and three. Nice smile. Oh, became blurry. 
Having a hard time focusing a little light. One, two, and three. Very good. Look to your right. It's getting crowded here, a lot of people. One, two, and three. Okay, move forward just a little bit. Uh, sorry, back. Nice. And this would be a higher shot. One, two, and three. Good. One important thing to mention is that only the iPhone 10 compared to the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, you can take... I'm, I'm in the photo. <laughs> there I am. You can actually take front selfie portraits or you can take selfies in portrait mode which will make you sharp and blur the background. I thought that was pretty cool because the iPhone 10 does use the uh, face scanners as a separate camera or separate infrared um, system, I believe, that will detect the person's face and blur the rest of the background. Alyssa, do you find yourself using this um, more often than your regular photo? Um. Actually, yeah, especially the last weekend with the wedding and yeah. everybody dressed up really fancy. I think it just makes the picture look so much nicer. So. I noticed the trend is, is kind of like everything sharp and focus, mm -hmm. but I think um, having the subject clear and yeah. the background blurry, I think it's coming back slowly. I prefer the, the subject to be clear and yeah. it just... It just really enhances the photo and you're not looking at everything else. You're focusing your attention on the subject of the photo. My family members always get mad at me asking me why do I travel all the way to a place on Guam, like hike 30 minutes to an hour and I just take pictures of the model and blur the background when no one can see the background and where you're at. But I think, I mean, that's, that's my style. I like to blur the background. I like, I like everyone to focus on the uh, model or the subject in the photo. But everyone's been taking regular cell phone pictures you can see the environment you can see uh, the person but now with the uh, portrait mode and iphones and even the uh, other um, brand Sam samsung i know they have the similar thing but they call it different name but now um selfie portrait modes i think we're gonna see a lot of that soon in the future and maybe one day who knows um, cell phones could replace professional cameras uh, i think it could uh, maybe i wouldn't want it to um, I don't really think that the cameras are, you know, OG. I want to get some of, I want to get cameras for myself that you have, so I hope not. Maybe, I don't know. I think it could kill the market if they make the cell phone camera so powerful and strong. Then everyone would just be getting an all-in-one system, like the, the iPhone 10s and... Well, this one is already very expensive, so if they add more features, it'll make it That's true. more Price expensive. Point. Yeah. So we'll see how it, how it goes. I still think that cameras should stick around though, professional cameras. Yeah, actually I like the feel of this bigger camera in my hands versus the cell phone. I feel like it's gonna slip out of my hands, it's gonna fall to the ground and the glass will shatter and then there goes your thousand dollars. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay, we'll keep on shooting. All right, we're done with our photo shoot. It does feel kind of weird using a cell phone to shoot professional portraits. I. I know they have done it before, especially, I forget which magazine, but a professional photographer took his iPhone and shot the cover uh, of a famous magazine. I just don't really feel that comfortable. Um, this phone, we notice, does expose properly, like Alyssa's face is lit up and it does expose for the background as well. And when I go home, I'll show you the differences between the Sony A99 Mark II with the Sigma 51.4 and the iPhone 10. What do you think of the photo shoot that we did today? I thought it was pretty good. Um, I really like the pictures after looking at some of them. I think that the camera is capable of doing a really good job. Yeah. Um, I know that there are some features that the can't that the phone can't do that a camera can do, but I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed with it. I would use this and have one of my friends take professional photos of me anytime. Yeah, I think that that's a trend nowadays. Something that's not too huge and big in front of your face, where it kind of intimidates you, versus right. something that everyone has in their pocket. You kind of feel more it's also at ease. To use, you it know, is for yeah. amateurs like me. I wouldn't feel comfortable using your camera. I wouldn't probably wouldn't know how to even turn it on. Um, but this is it's basic. You know, it's it's yeah. it's uh, mindless. I guess you would say. Yeah, that's true. So I'm gonna go home and we're gonna look at the photos, do a small comparison. Um, then you can make your own judgment if, uh, I'm, I'm, like what Alyssa says, I'm sure this is good for like the casual shots, but for me I still don't feel comfortable. 
if it's a paid photo shoot that someone's paying me to do, like a family shoot, then I will break out my DSLR and 42 megapixel yeah. Sony camera just to give me peace of mind that I do have all the data and I do have all the uh, processing power of the camera that stores all the shadows and the highlights that I can edit later. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, let's look at some photos. Here we have a Italian portrait and zooming in, it is pretty sharp for um, iPhone. I'm used to full frame, so I can tell there's some grain here in the photo, but transition from sharp subject to blur is pretty good. Next, we have Alyssa standing in a front of uh, a background that's closer to her. And this is shot using the natural light and the next photo here shot using studio lighting and I like studio lighting because it makes your skin softer and brighter but you can tell zooming in uh, the software in the phone is having a hard time transitioning blurred the blurred background to the outlining of Alyssa's hair so it's very apparent here you can tell that's having such a hard time to blend everything together but if you're using portrait mode in the background that's in the distance you can't really notice it this photo is using the stage light. This one's using the stage light uh, model for black and white. And you can tell it's trying really hard to separate the um, subject and the background. Here we have the, let me get these two pictures side by side. The A99 Mark II with the Sigma 51.4 art versus the iPhone 10. You gotta hand it to Apple, the exposure is spot on on the right hand side, list is lit up, background is blurred. Again, we see the same thing here with the hair, it's having a hard time. But on the left hand side, you have all the details, it's super sharp, bouquet is really nice with the lens, but she's, uh, Alyssa is underexposed. And it's, it's good, Apple's good for making the portraits, face recognition is nice, good exposure, you can upload to Facebook and Instagram right away with a professional setup. Uh, the background is much nicer, but you may have to in post um, brighten up uh, your subject here. Next example is a list in front of the Christmas tree that's lit up. Again, having a hard time here. This is the front camera of the selfie. Less uh, sharp, I think it's low res uh, front of the camera but you can easily um, upload this to and it's missing some parts here like not everything is fully blurred but again um, it's just for web so the apple iphone 10 good lighting it's really good to just take uh, snapshots of your friends or even you can get away with a professional photo shoot if uh, you know how to use the uh, the phone correctly not putting it putting the model on harsh uh, backgrounds and getting the uh, the error of the model's hair and, and the background. Um, but for me, I still wouldn't use it for a professional shoot. If I'm getting paid by the client to take really nice photos, I'll still use my full frame camera or even my micro four thirds camera. But this is great just for uploading to the web and even small prints. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.